Iranian missiles are striking deep inside Israel. But most never make it. They're stopped by the world's most extensive missile shield. Israel's air defenses are interlocking layers, each part designed to counter a different kind of threat at different ranges and altitudes. A national command and control network acts as the brain, detecting incoming fire, calculating its trajectory, and launching interceptor missiles, often within seconds. The first layer is Iron Dome. It handles short-range rockets, like those fired from Gaza or southern Lebanon. It uses radar to calculate where a projectile will land, firing only if civilians or infrastructure are at risk. The interceptor rocket explodes near the target, destroying it in mid-air. The next layer is David's Sling, which targets cruise missiles and medium-range threats at altitudes of up to 15 kilometers. It uses missiles armed with radar, camera and infrared sensors to strike targets directly. The outermost layer is the Arrow system, Arrow 2 intercepts ballistic missiles in the upper atmosphere. Arrow 3 strikes them in space. Both use long-range radar and infrared sensors to track and destroy incoming warheads. It's an extraordinary feat of engineering. Ballistic warheads travel at speeds of over 3,200 km per hour. It's a task often compared to hitting a bullet with another bullet. It's these upper two layers, David Sling and Arrow, that are being tested in this war. Since June the 13th, Iran is thought to have fired more than 400 ballistic missiles at Israel. But so far, only a few dozen have hit civilian areas. The IDF estimates its interception rate is 80 to 90 percent. But the success comes at a staggering cost. Missile defense alone is reportedly costing Israel almost $300 million each night. A single Iron Dome battery costs about $100 million. Each David Sling interceptor missile, around 1 million. And every interception drains Israel's limited stockpiles. Without replenishment, it could run lower munitions within weeks. If that happens, it would need to start rationing them, enabling more Iranian missiles to get through. But Iran's own stockpile is shrinking too. The intensity of its barrages has already dropped sharply compared to the first night of the war. Israeli strikes on Iranian launchers have reduced Tehran's ability to fire in volume, and the support of American systems has bolstered Israel's defenses. Iran almost certainly has enough firepower to keep landing blows, and a spectacular, deadly hit remains a possibility. But if Israel's missile defenses continue to hold, Iran's strikes are unlikely to pose an existential threat.